Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a Salt Mountain Melts haul, pre-order. Um, when did I order this? I don't know, cause I don't know where my notebook, I don't know what I did, hold. I know what I did with my notebook, hold on. I got it. Okay, hi. Okay, so when did I do Salt Mountain? This is July 28th um, pre-order. So that just came in today. And um, I'm excited. I got some good stuff, you guys. If you want to know what good stuff I got, just keep on watching. Y'all know the dealio, first things first. What am I wearing? I am wearing Jazz Club from Replica. My um, my sassy girl haul that I did the other day with the speakeasy and Godfather, like it just kind of got me in the mood for something sexy and yummy and delicioso. So this is top notes of pink pepper, you have neroli, you have lemon, rum, java, vetiver oil, clary sage, tobacco leaf, vanilla bean, and styrax, styrax, I don't know what that is, I don't know what that is, but this is super delicious, this is, um, there's some sweetness to it, there's booziness to it, I feel like it's a little, um, I want to say cinnamony, but it's not cinnamony. I like this one a lot, so as you can tell, that's that's what I'm wearing. What am I drinking? I'm drinking a white wine today. This is J Vineyard. It's a J Vineyard's Pinot Gris 2022. Um, lime, pineapple. There's a little floral like jasmine in here. Um, there's a good balance of acidity, so when you drink it. So, if a wine is high acid, you can tell the acid by when you take a sip and you lean your head forward. That's how I do it when I'm testing the acidity in a wine. When you lean forward after you've had, after you've swallowed the wine, um, the saliva, how much saliva do you get? Um, and I can just kind of tell, I don't know, for me, it's easier when I lean forward, my mouth is shut, but I can tell by how I'm salivating. So it's a medium, medium high acid for me. Um, but this is beautiful. This is just an easy, beautiful white wine, nothing crazy. Um, Yeah, super easy. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Um, if you guys hear, keep hearing notifications, that's our wax enablers group. We're just messaging and shooting the shit. Excuse the language, shooting the shooting the shoot. Um, all right, you guys, let's do this. I'm super excited for this. So the only salt mountain that I've tried is, um, is from D sashes and my most favorite, I haven't had a lot in the D stash is Ferris wheel after dark. So obviously I love, absolutely love that one. That one's, um, tobacco, cotton candy and funnel cake. I definitely wanted to get my hands on more of her wax, so I did a pre-order, my very first pre-order. Um, so that is what I have here, thumbnail. I don't know what I'm doing for my thumbnail, you guys. I'm just being silly. I am just being a little silly today. 
All right. So, opening up the box. All on top of the box. I got some Sour Patch Kids. That might actually be fun with my wine, but who knows? Um, okay, so I know I got... I think I got a couple of tubs, and then the rest are loaves. So, um, oh, we got a got a card in here. Uh, thank you for supporting my small business, Salt Mountain Melt. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could spend a little moolah in your shop. You're very welcome. All right. So on the top here, ooh, I have, oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. Oh, I love a wax package. Um, the first one I'm pulling out here is Campfire Cider. So this is Oak Barrel Cider, Campfire Mallow, and Palo Santo. That's nice. So, yes, I am picking up. Whew. I like it on the top. I like the top more than the bottom. Hold on. That bottom just hit me in the face with apple. So, you guys know how I feel about apple. Um, I don't like a sour, tart, green apple. I liked a. I like a baked apple or a red apple or a cinnamon apple oh but okay now that it's open up and and into the air this is nice okay so the um oak barrel cider i'm not sure what i'm supposed to pick up with that i'm not picking up oak or barrel at the moment but this was poured less than a month ago. This was poured um, August 27th. So um, I'm probably going to let this sit for a little while. Got Palo Santo. Okay. I am picking up that cider is definitely... Loud and proud. That Palo Santo and that marshmallow is just, um, it's just enough for me personally for, um, for me to enjoy this. It's, it's enough that the, the cider is not super crazy. Um, and it's not, it's loud and proud, but it's not, um, it's not punching me in the face. And I'm really okay with that. Um, because I am picking up that mallow and I am picking up some palo. This is, this is nice. Um, this is something that I was just thinking this is something that would be really nice for outside. Like if you had an outside deck. Um, that was enclosed. Unfortunately, we have a nice patio cover, but where I live, we get super, super windy in the backyard. So I was, this is like a really nice outdoorsy scent for me. Like I could just imagine sitting in the back on a back patio with this. Um, and just... I don't know. This just feels, I mean, it just, it feels very outdoorsy for me. Campfire cider. But that's kind of what I'm getting. So, um, Apple crumble pie. This is, oh, I need my glasses. I need my glasses. So, this is warm apple slices, flaky pie crust, buttery crumb topping, cinnamon, and vanilla ice cream. This one I'm excited about. Mm. 
Oh, that's nice. I feel like I'm picking up a little coffee, but there's no coffee in here. This is nice. I feel like I'm picking up coffee. I don't know why. Or a latte. That apple, that baked apple and the cinnamon, I think is what's, is what's, um, what I'm smelling. I'm not picking up a whole lot on a pie crust or a crumble. But I am, it is very baked apple, cinnamon baked apple. I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm getting um, Sensi's baked apple pie. Um, which is, I, I truly enjoy that. This is, I really, I like this a lot. Um, and I think maybe I'm going to let this kind of hang out for a little bit. Um, because I really want the buttery crumb topping and I really want that pie crust to pop out. I think that would just make a huge, I think that, that's definitely what I want. That, this pie, this apple is really pretty though. This is the kind of apple I really like. Is just a baked apple pie or a, a red apple. Not too sour, not too tart. I'm, wor I'm getting there. I'm working my way in there. Um, okay, next one. How many of these did I get? I got two of these. Yes, okay. So, I got two of these. Um, this is Nevermore. Did I even show you guys this? I don't think I did. Okay, apple crumble pie. Campfire cider. I don't know what's going on with my brain, but holy moly. Um, okay, so Nevermore is cornbread, blueberry pumpkin patch, and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Ooh. Very excited for that. Oh. This is... Um, I am picking up butter for sure. I am picking butter and I don't know if it's, I, it could be from the cornbread. Um, I am not picking up blueberry or pumpkin or vanilla. I am just picking up like, like bread like buttery bread biscuits. Man, I'm not picking up a whole lot on this, you guys. I'm gonna let this hang out for a little bit. I'm picking up butter. Like I said, like a buttery biscuit is the only thing I'm picking up with this. Um, let me open up the other one and see. Cornbread, blueberry pumpkin patch, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. It's not very sweet. I'm gonna have to let this sit for a second. I'm gonna have to let it air out. I'm gonna come back to it. Um, <laughs> I like it. If it said this is a buttery biscuit, heck yeah, that's what that is. I think the cornbread right now is just really outshining this blueberry vanilla pumpkin. So. All right, next is Hungry Ghost. How many of those did I get? I only got one of those. Okay, so Hungry Ghost is pumpkin pecan waffles, 
sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. Oh yeah, ooh. Oh, look at our little ghosty. Oh. That pumpkin pecan waffle, absolutely, it is here. The toasted marshmallow just gives it a, um, a really nice, this almost, this almost reminds me of like a, um, a sweet potato, like a Dutch crust sweet potato pie or casserole. And you just decided, you know what, let's just have some more fun and let's just put some mini marshmallows on top and you set the flame to it. It's not like a burnt smoky. It's just, um, ooh, this is pretty. It's just a really nice, this is nice. I like this one. Very cool. Okay. Let's go back to Nevermore. See if we can pick up what she's throwing down. Okay, this is super, super light. I do pick up some of that, that blueberry right now. Okay, here we go. Now I'm, now I'm getting it. I'm picking up pumpkin. I pick up a little bit of that vanilla. That cornbread now is, has, it's, it's no longer the, um, hmm. I, this is, Okay, this is pretty. It's light right now. I'm okay with that. I have plenty of wax to melt. If I don't even get to this until December, January, February, so be it. Because I love, I'm okay with that. It's light. It's not like this one with the pumpkin pecan waffles where it's sweet and pumpkin-y and like syrupy. It's not like that. This cornbread, I think, is just kind of mellowing everything out. It's grounding it. This is nice though. Um, I can't really, I, that's about all I can say about it, so. Cool. This have and they have poured eight. So this, and this was literally just poured on the first. 25th, 27th, 30th. Okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna move these out so I can have my desk back. Probably the smartest thing to do. Get this off my desk because my wine glass is on my desk. All right. Next, I have Bonfire Bash. What did I do with my glasses? Sorry, you guys, this is, this is a mess. Um, vanilla sandalwood, cashmere, toasted marshmallow, and sweet bourbon. So, bonfire bash. Oh, 
Oh, nice. This is um, this is just a really elegant, perfumey, not overly perfumey. Got the cashmere. Oh, and I got I got two of them. The cashmere really just um, yeah. This is not overly perfumey. And this, um, this sweet bourbon adds this really nice, this nice little, um, exclamation point to the end of this elegant, soft fragrance. It's like, how do I say this? Um... A lady on the streets, but a freak in the bed. That's, that's kind of what I get from this. This is a really, this is, it's nice. It's, um, it's dainty. It's, um, feminine. And then there's a little kicky kick of the sweet bourbon. I like this one. This is nice. Cool. Very nice. I am glad to have some of this. All right. Next one is Coven. So Coven is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, and Powdered Donut. I am, you guys, I am... I love bakery and I am finding that I truly love um, smoky bourbon tobacco but I also love it with bakery so I'm just I'm having so much fun finding these fragrances um, so much fun Ooh, her tobacco there's something stunning about her tobacco because I'm picking up kind of the same tobacco vibe. Do I have something in my hair? Um, kind of the same tobacco vibe as Ferris Wheel After Dark. Oh my goodness gracious. This is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I, wow. Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, Powder Donut. There's no tobacco in here. Are you kidding me? Oh, mate. Why do I feel like I'm smelling tobacco? This is so pretty. Maybe it's the Fireside and the Palo together that I'm, that, that's kind of has me. This is probably this is right up there for me with salt mountain this is right up there with with uh ferris wheel after dark it is um it's not masculine it's not feminine well this is beautiful That palo's coming. That palo's coming through a little bit more. That marshmallow. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love this. This was poured the second of August, so I'm gonna assume it's something I can melt now. Um, this, I'm, I'm not picking up a whole lot. Like I'm, not, I'm not picking up crazy powdered donut. But like I said, the tobacco and smoky and palo is just it. It is so beautiful in with bakery or bakery, a little bit of bakery added to that. Do not shy away from that, you guys. Do not shy away. If you see Palo or Fireside or Smoke or Burnt Embers, 
and um, and tobacco. And you see um, bakery added to that. Please try it. Just it just adds a certain um, a different element to it that just elevates elevates a scent. And it helps, I think that bakery, in my opinion, it helps because some, sometimes people are like, oh, I don't want my house to smell like a fireplace or like a campfire, or I don't like this, I don't want my house to smell like ashtray because of the tobacco. That vendors are not going to throw tobacco in a, the smell of ashes, cigarette ashes. That's not, that's not what the tobacco is, you guys. Um, it just, tobacco is a sweet has a sweet flavor note to it so oh this is so pretty this is so pretty if you see coven i strongly suggest you try it please try it i don't think you'll be disappointed um it don't don't go in there thinking oh because it's got the the marshmallow fireside and the um the sugar donut that it's going to be bakery um, that Palo Santo just really, um, do you get, I don't know what that means either, but there you go. Um, okay. Next one is, um, home sweet haunted home. So zucchini bread, ice cinnamon rolls and birthday cake poured August 22nd. Oh, shut the front frickin' door. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. So, I uh, today is um September the September the 13th. Um I think on the 16th or the 17th. She's opening for another pre-sale. I'm jumping in. I mean, it was already on my list of vendors. Like one of the last bender, benders. <laughs> well, I have been on a shopping bender. Oh my God. Um, but one of the last vendors of the year that I'm going to purchase from. So, oh, so I'm... Yes, <laughs> this is so good. So the cinnamon roll and the birthday cake can tend to be um, overly, kind of overly sick, syrupy sweet. Um, and I think with the zucchini bread, the zucchini bread's giving it that doughy, um, that, that doughy, not flour smell, but dough, like, this is so pretty. That cinnamon, yes, cinnamon roll and birthday cake. Absolutely. And it's the dough. It's like you've rolled out the dough of the cinnamon roll. Oh, so pretty. I mean, how cute is that anyway? I love this one. Okay. Next one is Howling Hollow, so smoky wood, clove, cinnamon, coriander, cashmere, and marshmallow fluff. So this is not going to be, um, this is going to be a perfumey, cozy, um, not gourmand per se. Oh my lord this is witchy and what oh. Oh, you guys smoky okay I know this is going to sound weird, 
Why do I feel like I have wax in my hair? There it is. Okay. This is gonna sound, this is campfire, okay? So picture, you guys are all snuggled around the campfire. And it's, it, it's not a huge one. It, it's you, you guys are you guys are kind of close. And someone just decided to take a bag of the cinnamon pine cones. You kidding me right now? You see it? Okay. Someone took a bag of the cinnamon pine cones and threw it on top of that fire. I'm not mad at it. This is so pretty. This is so freaking fracking pretty. The cinnamon and the coriander. This is exquisite. It's, but not dinner party sort of way, okay? Not black tie. This is just freaking this is cozy this is this is the epitome of let's light a fire in the fireplace let's snuggle up howling hollows you guys i need more of it i i need i absolutely need more of this howling hollows i need it Gosh, dang it. That is so pretty. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, someone told me how to pronounce this. Hold on. And I had it and I completely forgot. So let's see if, let me type this in real quick. And if you guys know what I'm getting ready to type in, by all means, let's see. Huga. 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 I've had this before. This is cashmere cedar sugar cookie and marshmallow fireside. Um, this kind of gave me a... Um, On cold, no, I, I like this on cold, but on warm, this kind of gave me a, um, I have a perfume from Dior and it's, um, uh, oh my gosh, hold on. Um, oh, hold on. I think that's my, I think that's my bottle of whiskey I got assigned for. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yes, it was the bourbon I had to sign for. I'll show you at the end of the video if you're interested. That one we had to, I had to have my spirit fingers ready for that one. Um, so... For some reason, this Huga on warm reminds me of a Christian Dior perfume that I have called Vanilla Diorama. Um, that one is um, orange, pink pepper, lemon, rum, cacao, cardamom, bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. This one is just cashmere cedar. Marshmallow Fireside and Sugar Cookie. I don't know why, but there's something in this. I love this. I am so glad I ended up getting... I found one on a D-stash. That's how I got it. I'm happy I got it. This is... It's just... For some reason, I'm picking up a boozy note in here. And I love it. 
I just do. I do. It's gonna go here. All right, you guys, I got two more. So next one is Haunted Bake Shop. So this is Pumpkin Sugar Donut and Bake Shop. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. All right. Ooh, that is pumpkin-y freaking goodness. Oh, that's wow. This is, yep. I don't know what her bake shop, I don't know what the bake shop blend is, but this, this is pumpkin, pumpkin. Sweet, doughy, bakery, deliciousness. It is, um, this is so good. It's all, it's, I would say pumpkin overload and I'm okay with that. And I would say sugar overload and I'm also okay with that. I'm not bad. All right, you guys, last one is happy holidays. Happy Holidays, Pumpkin Souffle, Pie Crust, Vanilla Milk, and Marshmallow Fluff. Pumpkin Souffle, Pie Crust, Vanilla Milk, Marshmallow Fluff. Man, we got all kinds of stuff getting delivered. All kinds of stuff getting delivered today. Okay, this is not as sweet, but it is pumpkin-y. Oh. This feels a little, um, feels like it has a little more baking spices to it. So, um, Haunted Bake Shop, to me, no. Um, that was just pumpkin and sugar and sweetness. Um, just in your face, pumpkin sweet bakery. This one is a little more subdued. Um, it's, it's the middle child, not the first child. This one is just, there's pumpkin, absolutely, but like I said, there's more um, baking spices to it. It feels more calm. It feels more, a little more um, Woosa. And both have its, both of these have its time and its place. And when I figure it out, I might let you know, but I don't know. This is nice. That's pretty, you guys. That's, there you go, fall days. So that is my um that is my um salt mountain salt why can't i have words today salt mountain melts haul from july um i will absolutely be ordering more love the wax stunning beautiful um so excited to melt these guys i have um I have a few loaves that I purchased in D-Stashes that I am waiting. Um, well, one of them is the Ferris Wheel After Dark, and I just, man. All right, you guys, so Nevada Distillery, my husband and I got an email. Nevada Distillery was having a special um, sale on a single barrel batch um smoke wagon bottle and 
lucky. I'm used to these hurry up and be quick, get in and out. Um, because my husband was going to try, he, both of us, he tried and I, and I went in and I, I got it. And then we had one yesterday morning too, and I got two. So, yep, I'm the professional. So anyways, this is, this is a bottle. I hope it has notes in here, but maybe not. And it's a little warm, kind of makes me, makes me a little nervous. Um, let's see here. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nope. No notes. It might be boring. So this is Smoke Wagon, Nevada Distilling Company Straight Ray Whiskey. Bottled for H and C, so that's that's the that's the company. But look how cool that bottle is, you guys. And fifty one percent rye, forty nine percent malted barley. Aged five years. I don't know what the scent notes on are are on this. Um, Warehouse L, floor number six. I was hoping it would give me the notes, but there you go. Oh, look, we match. Anyways, that's what we got. Cool bottle, um, limited edition. Like I said, sold out in like five minutes, probably less than that. Um, so I'm happy to have a bottle. Unfortunately, there's only one bottle, so Mike's not going to want to open it. He's going to want to hoard it. And us as wax people kind of know how that is, right? So... Anyways, all right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please let me know if you tried any of these from Salt Mountain. Um, have you tried them? Do you like them? What do you suggest I try? You guys have been watching me long enough that you know, um, kind of kind of picking up an idea of what I like and don't like. And um, yeah, so just let me know what I should try. I do have my list already. Um, I'm pretty much getting everything other than um, if it says lavender or floral. I'm not a huge fan of those. Um, so I'm kind of bypassing those. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.